Hey everyone, um, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily and I make friendship bracelets. If you enjoy that kind of stuff and you like these kind of videos, please make sure to subscribe because I'm almost at 400 subscribers, which is almost halfway to a thousand, which is a big milestone and that would be super cool to hit. Um, so yeah, but anyway, um, in today's video, I kind of came up with the idea to do one of those recreating um, Instagram like challenges but with bracelets so I know youtubers have done like they take some of their friends Instagram photos and they try to recreate it and um, I'm gonna be doing that as well and also I just want to say everyone that I include I already got their permission to do this so thank you everyone who agreed to being a part of this video and if it goes well i might even do a part two because i'm actually really excited to film so yeah let's um get into it okay so um i am going to start off with metal flower xo you guys should go follow her she is almost at 600 and hopefully by the time this video is uploaded she will have reached that but as you can see, she has a lot of really, really, really pretty posts. And I'm going to try to see if there are any that I can try to make and recreate. Okay, let's see. Um, I think I really like, I mean, I love all of them, but these three, um, I can't really do because I don't have sand. So I'm not really gonna do that. Um, and... Okay, so I think I'm either going to make this beautiful polka dot chevron, or I think I'm gonna make this leaf braided stitch bracelet. And I think I want to make this bracelet, which is really beautiful. It's got a sparkly red and a yellow and pink and braided ties. And so, yeah, that is what I'm gonna make. I actually had the same exact string as her, so I of course use that string and yeah I basically cut all my strings and then started the bracelet and it was a pretty easy bracelet to make Kinsey B has a tutorial if you guys want to know how to make it um but yeah enjoy the time lapse next I'm going to go to the account bracelets by sienna and i spelled that wrong <laughs> but this is bracelets by sienna and as you can see she has also really good stuff and so i'm going to try to see if there is anything that i can recreate or anything that i um want to recreate i guess and i see this really cute keychain and I think I want to make this. It's an alpha, but it's also a keychain. And I think this would be really cute to make. Um, so, yeah, I think this is what I'm going to make. This bracelet didn't actually take that long, but there were a bunch of really cute colors in it. So I started out by picking the colors. And it is an alpha, so I used scrap threads to use as my base threads then i just began making the loop this is a cinched loop with a triangle alpha start and so yeah enjoy the rest of the time lapse okay so now i'm going to go to the account amy's bracelets and she has a bunch of really pretty photos, and I'm going to see if there are any bracelets that I want to recreate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. sure. <clears throat> so this is what I have decided to recreate. These are the um, Skinny 2 bracelets, and she has a tutorial on one of her posts i think this post 
yeah, she has a tutorial for them. And they are super simple. And I actually have the same multicolored thread that she uses. So that will be fine to match up. And so, yeah, I will be making these. Okay, so these are the Skinny 2 bracelets, which are really cool. They're actually designed or made up by Amy's bracelets herself. So go follow her on there. And she has a tutorial for these. Um, but also, if you guys want a tutorial for these... I can reach out and see if I can do that too. So yeah. The next person that I'm going to do is bracelets by Fran. And so this is her account. And I'm going to pick something that I can recreate. And yeah. So I think I'm going to recreate this, which is kind of like a keychain um, thing. And I'm pretty sure the pattern has 24 strings. Um, and it's kind of like a pink, like dark pink, kind of purpley, white-ish gradient, not gradient thing, magic. And so this is what I'm going to be recreating. You guys should also go follow Bracelets by Fran because she posts really good content and is just overall a really nice person. Um, but this bracelet turned out pretty good. I think I cut my strings a little bit too long, but I still really like how it turned out. And so enjoy the time lapse, I guess. Here we are on Bracelets by Rihanna's page, and so from her account, I'm going to choose this watermelon bracelet thingy, I guess, and it's really pretty, and yeah. Um, the next person that I'm going to recreate the Instagram is Bookish Knots. And, um, I am going to scroll through and see if there are any bracelets or anything that I want to make. Okay, I think I want to do this. It's a really cute little um coffee starbucks keychain thing and yeah so i definitely think i made my loop a bit too big for this bracelet but i still think it is pretty cute and go send this keychain and bookish knots some love Here I am at Mimi's Knots account, and so these are her posts, and I already decided on which bracelet I want to make, um, but I am going to recreate this beautiful, um, like, kind of candy stripe with a heart inside it sort of thing, um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna make. I definitely think I cut my strings a bit too short for this bracelet, but I still think it's super cute. If you guys want a tutorial, let me know because I'm thinking of filming one and it's super easy. So yeah. Okay, so the next account that I'm going to go to is MB Bracelets. And this is her account, and she posts a lot of really cute bracelets. And I'm actually going to go to this post because this is the bracelet that I want to recreate. It's a really cool shaped bracelet. And, yeah, I actually don't have the, like, pattern number for this bracelet. So, I'm just going to try to figure it out, like, by looking at the pictures. So, wish me good luck. I definitely made this bracelet a little bit too long, or at least it's longer than I usually would have made it, but I love the colors and I think it's super duper cute. Okay, so I'm going to go through the bracelets with you and show you what I made. 
So, on the first day, I made this really pretty um, braided stitch leaf bracelet, and I love how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. Then, on the second day, I'm pretty sure, <clears throat> I made this really cute keychain, which is kind of like a sunset mountainscape type thing with a really cute river and I love how this one turned out. Then I'm pretty sure I made these two twisted skinny tube bracelets and the they look like this so on the front and when you knot it it looks like this but if you turn them over you actually see that they look really, really cool, especially with multicolored thread, which is what I used. And yeah, they are super easy and really simple. Okay, next I think I made this cute keychain. Um, yeah, it's really cute. It's got like separated bits, kind of like the chain link technique. Um, and yeah, I really like it. This bracelet is a watermelon bracelet, and um, I had to add in a bunch of strings by the end because I kept running out, so I've got little bumps on the back, but I love this pattern, and I kind of want to make more of it in different kinds of like shades of pink, and I think this is really cute. Then I made this keychain, which I said the loop looks really big, and I made the loop too big, um, but the pattern is really cute, and yeah, it's just a really cute little Starbucks coffee keychain. Then I made this bracelet, which I cut the strings too short because one of the ties is only super small um but the colors um are really really cute and like I said if you guys want a tutorial on this let me know down below because I might film one if you guys want to see it but I love how this turned out it was really simple and really cute and the last but definitely not least bracelet is this shaped bracelet and I actually didn't have a pattern to follow so I kind of just looked at the image and figured out what I had to do um, but I think I did it right and it turned out really cute I messed up a little bit at the end you can see we can't really see but uh, a few of my strings I had to uh, pull down pull through the bracelet and it looks a bit wonky but it is still turned out pretty good so these are all of the bracelets that I made I actually made eight in total which is a little a bit more than a week um, but yeah I am super excited and I hope you like them all. Okay, so that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. It actually took me kind of a while to film and make all of the bracelets, but I am super happy with how it turned out, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give the video a thumbs up, and if you like these kinds of videos, subscribe down below. Um, comment which bracelet was your favorite or which photo you think looks the most similar and yeah that's basically it so um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah shout out to everyone who participated in this um if you guys want a part two let me know because there are so many awesome creators that i could feature in this and that would be so much fun. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye. Peace.